This is Michael Saltzman from Blue Sky Bio. I want to introduce the new interface that we have in version 4.7 of the Blue Sky Plan software, as well as the model editing module and functionality, as well as the model alignment functionality. On this interface screen, it's simple and straightforward. The user is prompted to click on and select the functionality they will be using the Blue Sky Plan software. When clicking on surgical guides, for example, the software will bring up sub-options for different situations. For example, the one or two implant case will open up the wizard, the functionality to directly import a patient's CT scan, and then continue with the process in the normal or advanced mode from there, or just going ahead and directly importing the models. Clicking back brings you back to the main interface. So the top section of the screen is for starting a new case while the bottom section of the screen is for opening a recent project. The most recent projects appear in the list, and if you're opening an older existing project, then simply click Open Project, and the software will open the directory library of your computer where you can navigate to the relevant cases. And of course, you have the shortcut buttons for desktop, documents, downloads, or network to take you quickly to those locations. The model editing module centralizes all the functionality of importing data into the software, whether it's CT scans or STL files, and everything connected to the importation and manipulation of those data sets. So for example, cutting the CT or merging the CT with the STL or inverting an impression or anything connected to manipulating, merging, editing, those surfaces could be done in the model editing module directly and exporting from that module if you haven't created a surgical guide or any other component exporting from that module can be done at no cost so if the reason you're loading the software is to import the ct scan to convert it to an stl or anything like that if that's the sole reason you're opening up the software you'll go directly into the model editing module for all other functionality you will click component you wish to design so, for example, if you're creating a surgical guide or a crown or a denture, you'll click on the relevant component. The software will take you automatically first to the model editing functionality where you could do all of the data manipulation and then will naturally have you continue via a large continue to button in the top right of the screen to continue to the relevant functionality. So if we take a look at this for surgical guides, if we're interested in treatment planning and creating a surgical guide, we go ahead and click on surgical guides. Let's take an example of importing the patient CT scan. We select the relevant volume. Here there's only one volume define the field of view just like we've done in previous versions of the software and then the software opens and if we look closely we could see that we're in the model editing module we don't need to switch models from the drop down menu what we're going to do is we're going to continue with all of our data manipulation and editing and then once we complete that we'll press the continue to implant planning button and then we will continue the process of treatment planning and designing a surgical guide so by default what happens is that the Software brings up the interface to import different surfaces. We could import the STL model using our automatic alignment. We have our standard surfaces panel. And once we finish manipulating all the data, we click continue to implant planning to place the implants and continue with the process. If we close out the case, the software will take us back to the initial interface to be able to start a new project.